Uh, good evening, Ken at Tortoise Capital. Uh, we had a power failure here in Kansas at the right at the start of the scheduled podcast, so I'm recording this and I'll post it on Patreon and YouTube. Um, so let's take a look at a series of uh, trade frames. First, this is from Pavel, uh, who had a little moment of Zen uh, today, and uh, he mentions that uh, he finally understands the um, swing trading one day at a time. So he noticed this from last Sunday, a trade frame that he had posted. Had a nice uh, PSR flip, found support at Z1, um, and then he comes back a week later and he observes this. Awesome. Yeah. And so the day trade on daily charts works. So you get an entry here. And without even taking these other entries that he's programmed, you know, he's holding 4.6R just here. But wait, there's more. So now when you uh, dial down to the uh, 30 minutes and you start trading intraday, you start getting these, you get this nice series. Very orderly support. Nice capture. Uh, gap down and rebound. Enter. Long and capture. And no overnight risk. And this, uh, this doubles. There's about 8R in that. So if you take the 4.6 and the 8R, you end up having a really nice sequence in something that's already part of the core portfolio and has been for five months. Uh, PBW has been amazing. That's the clean energy. And it's been great in the US and it's been great in Europe who's using it to rebuild uh, green infrastructure um, and updating the modern world. So that's that looks like a long-term keeper to me. So you get core, you get swing, and you get intraday. I mean that's what we're talking about. So the piece I want to highlight is uh, Pavel's note in his learning journal, which I copied from um, the chat room. His big aha moment might look obvious to most people here, but to me it was a big moment. Hey, anytime you go through that barrier, you get through the curtain and see the other side, um, it's an amazing moment. At the end of the week, I looked at PBW and the frame that I made and saw what happened. And I looked at a 30-minute chart and understood finally what Ken meant by swing trading one day at a time. I hope you don't mind sharing this and be enthusiastic about it. But now, and only now, do I understand what hybrid trading is really all about. So that's a moment he's never going to forget. That is locked in transfer of knowledge uh, and just so proud of his due diligence and effort. You only get that by doing the work and so he did the work and he got that so well done uh, I also wanted to share this one this one meant a lot to me today um, uh, it's been a tough week uh, with uh, with some friends and their families this week and uh, uh, I needed this little boost and so this was just a guy doing the work down in Australia, uh, doing the work for his kids and grandkids, challenged by COVID, and uh, getting the work done and expressing his thanks over the distance. And uh, our trading, it's an adaptive philosophy that deals with whatever the market can throw at you over time, and I believe that. So thanks. And uh, I just got to tell you that that makes all the work worthwhile. So I'm grateful for that human touch. All right, so let's get into some of the trade frames. Um, this is DIA. Um, oops, let's see, get the move. Um, the nice long move here. Orderly pullback to Z minus 2. It's come through 
the dragon su successfully closed nice and strongly here so we got one two three to the upside if it breaks above here this thing is free and clear but if it breaks down from here then the dragon will have failed we got one two three to the downside and then this becomes the target down here um, so DIA um, at a perfectly critical state where it can go big or go big or just muck around for no gains or losses into the election um, I think there's one more good move in there all right next up is uh, Brazil and we've had uh, this little cycling action here you know down up down up a lower high notice and so that made this even better now finding support and we have a critical state and a positive gain right here uh, so there's plenty of room to get the tactical trade through the dragon it's got to get past the PSR flip at 29 to be really strong uh, but any collapse from here is going to run down to 26 which is connected back to this gap and then if that breaks man that's coming all the way back to here to 21 so critical state after a depressing downward move but the first sign of life that looks pretty good I like uh, Brazil on the swing alright next up is wheat and precious metals um, this was that nice long that long grinding gain and now it's been uh, it was trapped in this sideways chop for a while um, the Z uh, the Z breakdown from the river came all the way down to Z3 has held support and now is uh, nice and tightly compressed inside the dragon poised for a big strong move in either direction critical state you're paying a minimum amount to find out which way it wants to go just follow the price and you'll be in great shape if 46 fails if that Z3 fails then that puts all of this back in play all the way down to 40 and 38 so uh, and then to the upside on a defensive play if uh, precious metals works so this is a perfect place to be omnidirectional good frame now we just saw Pavel's uh, trade frame before where he did this um, you know last Sunday and now we're here um, this is that nice long grinding gain that has been so powerful in the core and has given us opportunities in here for some swings uh, to supplement the core and then some day trades on the 30 minute to supplement the swings to supplement the core but this is a symbol that's gone from th 38 to 64 while we've been holding it through the through the COVID it's just been getting it done maybe it's connected to the green new deal and the more Biden looks to be the guy the more that looks good so had a uh, nice week and even rebounded nicely in here so easy to add those positions at all-time highs and if it breaks above here really I mean there's no resistance no resistance above it's just a pure play and up uh, the tactical play uh, down to this would only be tactical to here because that's the support level this is noise unless it breaks through uh, 56 and then you could start playing on a swing so that would be day trading only in my view Next up is Apple. It's been nothing but great. Um, this was that first uh, little surge. 
pause and then the resumption the breakout when the PSR flipped and broke out above the Z3 BAM go reinforcement go when it breaks above that Z3 go uh, and get all the way to Z2 um, PSR flip so this is the logical place to be caching those and had a nice long slide this is this almost feels like a cup and handle and go right and only the the cup hasn't completely formed yet so you really um, there's a tactical play back to 135 and it's already given this the first leg up meaning that this feels like support so uh, with a strong close on Friday it breaks out you get one two three you'll have three positions in when it tests 135 and you'll make bank and then if that breaks out man that's where it really goes so who's better postured in the world to take advantage of discretionary money than Apple I don't know anybody and you like this a big gain came all the way back held support down here it's in the spring and now it's got plenty of room to go tactically this is the tactical trade in here to the top of that if it breaks out of that then you're good to go in the same way that when it broke out of the Red River here BAM that was the move so it's postured for that right here up we go uh, you want a short Apple good luck with that but that's the you'd be playing on a bet going to 90 I guess um, and those three support levels would give you that but man I think there's better things to be short than that so here's Twitter and we have been enjoying this from 28 and the uh, RL270 is helping us here this is where the RL270 and the RL10 were both equal you know the RL10 equal the RL270 and the traders just took it and have run it up past Z2 held support above the Bollinger Band main PSR flipped ran it up to Z3 came back held support of the Bollinger Band main ran it up past Z3 came back this time it held support at the Dragon and is going so uh, that's telling you with a series of higher highs that all this has to do is break out above 46 and it's going so here's all the places you can get more um, I like this long term it's it's one of the tech leaders that hasn't um, you know exploded in my view like the you know the Google's and Tesla's and all that so um, but this is the root of our democracy right here um, so this is a long-term keeper TWTR Full disclosure, I have a position in it. All right, uh, next up, Caterpillar. Um, this has had more of uh, a bumpier ride, but still uh, a nice, good long pull up the hill. That nice piece are. And now it's testing that the RL10 getting ready to test. So I like that you got a low, a higher low, another higher low, and this little box is ready to go. This washed out all the weak hands, closed really strong. So now if it breaks above 152, off it goes, and then the final confirmation will come at 156, which is only about a three percent uh, boundary. So I think you want to be long in here with one, two, three, and then if it breaks. It could be another one of these long moves. Great American company. I really like them. Downside, uh, tactical trade only to here. It's really got to break below 142, uh, and then this becomes in play down to 134. But I think the uh, um, the move we want to see is the upside. There's better things to short than that. Okay, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll get the uh, Sunday evening coffee talk and trade frame reviews posted here shortly. Um, we're building the October index. These two um, from Saturday were really good. We finished up the, you know, the last half of the 37 strategies. Some really good insights in there. So I strongly recommend you uh, you check those out. I'll get this posted here shortly. Uh, take good care. We'll see you in the chat room. Let's get ready to rock.